This video will explain and demonstrate the coincident constraint. Coincident sketch constraints are used between nodes and lines, circles, arcs, nodes, B splines, and the origin point. This also includes reference items such as reference lines, arcs, and circles. When you create an item, a line for example, and attach it to another item's endpoint or center, the invisible coincident constraint keeps these items connected. This constraint, unlike all the other sketch constraints, does not show a sketch constraint symbol when it's applied. Here you can see the effect of a coincident constraint. When the node in this corner is moved, the endpoints of the lines attached to this node move as well because they're bound to that node by a coincident constraint. In this example, the node of this circle is made coincident to the line. When the circle is moved, it follows the line. When it gets to the end, it continues along the same direction along an imaginary extension of that line. The same will happen when a node is coincident with an arc. Once it gets to the end of the arc, it will continue along in a circular path. With a B-spline, however, once the coincident node gets to the end, it will stop because B-splines are irregular. There's just no way to tell where the spline would have extended if it had continued to lengthen. When sketching a line, every time you click to make a new segment, it will automatically add the coincident constraint. If you start sketching a figure, a circle for example, and your first click is on a line segment, Libre Design will automatically add a coincident constraint. In this video, you learn that coincident sketch constraints are used between nodes and lines, circles, arcs, B splines, and the origin point. You also learn that the coincident constraint, unlike all the other sketch constraints, does not show a sketch constraint symbol when it's applied.